All right. Okay, we're rolling. Welcome back everybody to video number five. Hope everyone's enjoying the video so far. Thanks so much for everyone who's responding online and for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Thank you all. Just as a quick like reintroduction. Again, my name is Melanie Knight. I am a marine biologist and marine educator. I am a consultant, I'm an aquarium founder, and I am an ocean lover. So video number five is all about volunteering. You gotta get some volunteer experience. Volunteering has been the catalyst of my career because the very first time I ever volunteered was when I walked into the Euclid Aquarium, which I've mentioned a couple times so far already. And again, just for some context, Euclid is a tiny town on the far west coast of Vancouver Island. I walked in there when I was 19 years old. I had a late start. I would encourage you to volunteer as early as you can and as often as you can. I walked into the Euclid Aquarium. I was blown away by the amount of knowledge that I learned in like a short period of time. So I was already going to school for marine biology in my first year at Memorial University of Newfoundland and I hadn't really gotten hands-on with any animals yet. You know, in first year university, it's very basic. It's the, it's general biology, uh, lots of textbooks, but no real hands-on experience yet. And so when I went to the aquarium and I got to put my hands in the tanks and see it, touch the sea stars and, and hold a key sea cucumber and all that kind of stuff, I honestly was blown away. That's really where I was, felt like marine biology was really taking place. So then it was my mom who said, you know, are you guys looking for any volunteers? And they were like, yes, of course. Do you know of anybody? And I was like, I, I will. I will. And then I said, great, I'll be back next Wednesday. And then every Wednesday after that, I was volunteering until eventually they hired me and, and uh, uh, for the rest of the summer. So it was an amazing experience. I would highly recommend volunteering. So here's some basics. So the benefits of volunteering are plentiful. All right, so many, but let me list some. So first off, it's great experience. Most employers value volunteer experience just as much as they would value employed experience. It helps you understand what it's really like. Some of the volunteer opportunities that you're gonna take on, you might not love. And in that case, it's great, look, perfect. Now I know, and now I can figure out what else I do like and navigate my way through the marine you know, career field much more easily. So this would be an encouraged way to test out different things that you think you might be interested in and figure out if you're right or not. Volunteering gives you the opportunity to meet amazing people, both potential mentors, incredible teachers, and just awesome other fellow volunteers. Some of my best friends are the people that I volunteered with or that I met while volunteering, including my husband. Yeah, I met my husband while I was volunteering at the Euclid Aquarium. <laughs> More on that later. Volunteering can give you great exposure and great training beyond the classroom. There's lots of things that I learned while volunteering that I didn't ever learn while I was going to university for marine biology. So don't necessarily think that school will teach you everything you need to get ready for your marine biology career. It won't. Volunteering is key. Okay, so where can you volunteer? Great. Quick list. Aquariums, animal shelters, if you're interested in a career in veterinary science, volunteering at a local nonprofit. So uh, a marine organization that's nearby your place or a marine museum or something like that. If you don't have any of those local nonprofits nearby, then potentially volunteering online can be a, a way to reach out to an existing nonprofit and ask if you can volunteer remotely or virtually. Offer to volunteer with a local scientist and see if you can help them by simply following them around or, you know, being their, you know, their bucket holder, whatever whatever they might need, or potentially in your lab at university. If you're already in university, then there's lots of labs that are that need volunteers to help them set up for class or to set up for an experiment. That is really great experience uh, in a lab setting if that's what you're interested in too. Or possibly with parks or like a kids camp or something like that that has something to do with the water maybe. Okay, so how to volunteer. Volunteer positions are normally posted online somewhere. So if you go to like the Give page or the Volunteer page or the uh, Act Now page on websites for the nonprofits that you're interested in, mostly you can find volunteer opportunities there. If there are none listed, just simply write them and ask like, hey, you know, do you need any volunteers? That is music to the ears of any nonprofit founder or any anyone who's running a workplace. They want to have volunteers. Legally though, corporations can't have volunteers. So maybe it's a paid internship that you're asking for if you are finding a company that you're really excited to work for or learn more about. The other way to do it is by, if you want something short term, is to do like a shadow day where you would ask just to come in and shadow, sort of like an informational interview, follow somebody around, determine what their day looks like, whether it be a scientist or somebody out in the field. Internships or work experience or co-ops are all great options for uh, youth who are interested in getting experience for a short 
short period of time. Uh, some of those may be paid and others won't be, uh, but depending on the placement and depending on the organization, ask them what they have to offer uh, and, and go from there. If you don't have an organization in mind, there are sometimes websites you can find that have listings for volunteer opportunities in your city or in your town. For example, here in Vancouver, we have something called Volunteer Vancouver. So you can type that in and any keyword of volunteering opportunity that you might be interested in, and there are lists and lists and lists of volunteer things that you can get into. So how about this? Next time you're planning a trip, instead of just going to Mexico, you can actually volunteer while on your vacation. It's called Voluntourism. And it's where you volunteer your time well in a hot and tropical place. You can either help with sea turtle egg counts or you can help with coral reef monitoring while you know going snorkeling or scuba diving in a particular area. Next time you travel, definitely partner it up with an opportunity to learn and experience some other new environment. It's super cool and exciting and I highly recommend it. Again, things that you can do locally are things like beach cleanups or sometimes your community might run something called a bio blitz, which is when they go out and do a biodiversity count of all the different animals in your region. Okay, so that's how you can volunteer. Lots of different ways to volunteer. And finally, there's other things that you're gonna gain from volunteering, and it's not just marine experience. You're also gonna learn other things. And I encourage you to find a position that would allow you to grow in these other areas, including public speaking, teamwork, organizational skills, work ethic, even just learning how to be punctual, how an office works or how a business operates. Those kinds of things are really valuable to help you prepare you for the workforce, hence why volunteer experience is just as good often as a work experience opportunity because because it gives you all that extra good stuff. Okay, hopefully that covers things. I'm very passionate about volunteering and it's because I got started as a volunteer at the Eucalyptus Aquarium. But then after that, when I was working at the Vancouver Aquarium, I had this amazing team of volunteers when I was an educator. And then eventually I became the manager of volunteer services where we had over a thousand volunteers helping on an annual basis, supporting the Vancouver Aquarium. I learned so much in the process of, of working with that incredible team of people and many of them were lifelong volunteers. Some of them were there for a short period of time, but either way it was, uh, I, I think each person had a really valuable experience by being able to learn more about the organization, meet some of their favorite animals up close and personal, and be able to make a difference towards ocean conservation. Volunteering helps you feel like you are making a difference. And so if you're not doing it for work experience or to better your resume, just do it because it's awesome and it's needed and organizations that are doing great work need volunteers like you. So please volunteer. Let me know in the comments below if you're already volunteering or where you might see yourself volunteering in the future, let me know. All right, so this is video number five. Thanks so much for watching. And I so look forward to continuing on with you throughout the process of this 10 part series. Hope you're liking it, A-OK. -okay. This means A-OK -okay for diving, right? We're all clear on like, okay, great. So, but this also means like, like, like the video, share and subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye. <clears throat> Excuse me.